It's no joke that we know more about the moon's surface than our ocean's floors. So rushing into deep sea mining commercialization could trigger biological disasters that we as a species are not equipped to handle. So yes, it's natural that TMC has been facing a little pushback, and it'll need to prove it can mine responsibly before it can get off the ground or off the sea floor. The International Energy Agency, the IEA, estimates that global EV battery demand will grow to more than 3 terawatt hours in 2030, representing a massive 200 increase from last year's numbers. The company's core target elements are important components for EV batteries, so if TMC plays its cards right and everything lines up, it may be strategically positioned to meet that growing demand. If there's one thing that the US-China trade war has taught us, it's that it's a bad idea to depend on one country for the raw materials that keep the global economy running. And that's why certain countries are pushing for more diversified supply chains, like the US-Japan agreement and the EU's Critical Raw Materials Act, among others. Again, with TMC offering a potential alternative to China's mineral dominance, it's no surprise that the company has drawn significant investor attention. What are your thoughts on the company? Are you buying into their vision?